What is up everyone, tis I, Z Gaming Guy, and welcome back to some Z Talks. If you don't know how it works, basically you guys ask me questions, I answer them, I give my thoughts, I want to hear from you, and before I get into the new questions, I go back to the old ones that were asked and see your responses to some of the things I said and kind of put my own thoughts towards that. Now first up we had the question I asked you guys, which was like a cool way to use powers that maybe people don't really think about or just something about a power that people usually overlook. And this one is from Aristides, that's all I'm going to say, Don't, I'm not even going to attempt the second second part, uh, saying, answer your question, how does Superman fly? I mean, does he escape gravity or does he become lighter? A god knows. Well, since god backwards is dog, I asked my own dog and what she thought about it, and she said seven. But I guess if I had to give an actual answer, uh... <laughs> You know, it, it is one of those, like, who fucking knows. Like, at least if they had wings, you could be like, well, there you go. It's wings. But with the flying aspect, I mean, I'm sure somewhere out there someone has a better scientific explanation. Like, um, actually, hold on, it's coming to me. Because Science, uh, the Nerdist channel on YouTube, they're pretty cool. They do, like, a, a science-y looks at things like um, going Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball Z or something like that. And he did actually go over flight with the use of electrons, I believe it was. Uh, like the negative and positive magnetic forces and stuff like that and using that to your advantage being able to ma manipulate that and that was probably the best scientific answer I can possibly give you so there you go hopefully you got hopefully you got all that all right because it'll be in the quiz next week or else you fucking you're gonna fail the next one is about the topic where we said what's a perfect battle royale uh, format basically that you could come up with and someone said the best battle royale concept is like you start with 100 players on a certain planet then when the players reach 50 the planet will be destroyed and all the re remaining players teleport to a smaller planet and then it'll when it reaches 10 the same thing will happen and in the last two will fight an even smaller planet and i think that's an interesting concept especially if the planets kind of took a no man's sky approach where like it was randomized like a certain maybe guy that had a certain type of biome Maybe I'd even contend with the elements of that biome, but uh, I don't know. I feel like that's uh, in interesting. It'd be hard because you'd have to obviously s very miniaturize the planet, uh, but I don't know. I, I, I like where you're going with it, but I feel like you couldn't have the whole... You had you had to contain it in some way. Either the planet's really small and you go around, or it's like a portion of the planet, something's going on. But I see where you're getting at, and I can appreciate it. And on a side note, as I'm reading through, a couple of you had said you tried the whole arm rotation where one's going forward and the other's backwards at the same time. <laughs> you guys were like, oh, failed miserably. So I'm, <laughs> I'm glad some of you tried it. I find it amusing. Next answer is also about the whole superpowers thing. And there's a part where I said, like, if you, a best way to kill someone with telekinesis is trap them in a room and fill it with gas because they have to open up to be able to breathe eventually. And this one's from Lisa, and Lisa says, The person trapped in a room filled with gas could use their power to break through a wall or window like a spike off the side of a barrier. Uh, alternatively, a quick, large expanding of the barrier to essentially explode, obviously keeping a barrier to protect from rubble. Telekinesis for me, I've always wanted to be Matilda. <laughs> I mean, you have good points. I'm sure there's a... Some, like, if you have telekinesis, you could pretty much do whatever you want, essentially, as long as you have the imagination. But regarding the whole Matilda thing... My sister used to watch that fucking movie like every goddamn day and drove me so crazy that I eventually took the 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 movie. It was a VHS at the time. And I, I hid it. I think I put it behind the couch. I'm like, fuck this movie. You can't watch it anymore. Eventually they found it and she just went right back to watching it again. So thanks for reminding me of that, 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 that time in my past. And last thing regarding the previous questions, this one's again about the powers thing, and this one's from Jake saying, what about super strength? Is there a limit at which you cannot lift? Or what about the extent of what it has on your body? Nobody is super forever, right? What happens when you're old? One would have a super cryptic joint problem, if you ask me. And that's an absolutely fair uh, reasoning behind it. I mean, maybe the, everything else is super about you, super tendon, super muscle and everything, so... Uh, the chances of it ripping are basically zero. Let's just go off that assumption, I guess. But uh, as far like what is the extent of your powers, uh, something that always kind of bothered me is let's say like the Hulk, for example. Like they talk about he can he can jump so high he can leave the atmosphere, right? But it's like okay, if you put that much force into the ground to jump. The ground, I, I can't imagine the ground not crumbling underneath you. You know, depending on what you jump off of, obviously. But, like, if you just randomly out in the dirt or something, 
Like, I feel like you can't have enough, you can't push enough force into the ground to, to make that happen. You know what I mean? I feel like there's some, like, laws of physics being ignored with some of these things. Honestly, super, super strength would be really inconvenient, too. Like, how do you handle a cup? Like, can you turn it on or off, or is it always a thing? I don't know, man. That sounds like too much hassle to me. Now we're moving on to your questions, everyone! All right, give it up for... Hold on, let me, let me look at my phone. Hold on. Hold on, I'm almost there. Mm, okay, from Q Taylor, saying, For the next Z-Talk, have you ever considered doing a Let's Play or walkthrough of any other games like Pokemon or Mario Tennis? No. <laughs> uh, basically because I I don't really care for Nintendo games all that much. But, okay, let's just get that out of the way. I'm not a big Nintendo fan. Um, as much as I am, like, honestly, the... the console i like the most as far as games are concerned is sony but i don't like sony as a business really because they kind of piss me off um microsoft i like the most as a business uh, but their games are meh and then nintendo is just kind of there for me you know like I, I think they're for the most part consumer friendly they're fucking annoying to record things about and the games are just kind of repetitive to me uh i can only handle the same concept from the game so many times. And as for like other Let's Plays, I'm assuming you just gave two random examples, but I'm not really sure what else falls under that category. But I do want to do more Let's Plays and more uh, walkthroughs, I guess, of games. Uh, I just don't know what yet. Like Death Stranding will be eventually be one, Last of Us Part Two. I still want to get to The Walking Dead. Uh, those are the kind of games that I'm going to be going through. Not so much uh, the personal experience ones, I guess, if that makes sense. Like. Mario Tennis just seems like a one-off thing. Like, maybe I'd do, like, a video once, but I, that's kind of it. Uh, as for Pokemon, I don't know. I can't really get behind watching that. Like, if, if I can't imagine it being fun to watch, I'm not going to put a video out for it. So that's kind of my logic behind it. By the way, on a side note, it's really cool that so many of you, like, respond to these questions and have, like, thought-out answers, too. Like, this isn't just you, like, oh, well, bleh and like just vomiting on your keyboard or whatever, like you actually have good thought out stuff and it's cool to read. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, I definitely recommend going through the comments, kind of checking out some other people's answers because they're, I can't get to all of them just due to time, but there's some other interesting ones on there. Next up is from Jaboy asking, uh, who's your favorite villain from Marvel and DC comics? And if the two of them were to fight, who would win? My favorite are Carnage and Joker. And if they were to fight, let's say they both would win since Carnage has a chance to bond with him. Aww. Well, <laughs> my, my favorite now in Marvel is Thanos, just due to the movie, basically, because I'm not well versed in the comics and stuff, so I kind of go, got, got to go off the movies. And as for DC, I mean, it'd probably have to be the Joker. I mean, again, I don't know a whole lot about it. I can guarantee that there's one each that I'd probably like more. But I gotta go with the Joker right now, and Thanos would treat him like his little bitch. Uh, let's be real. In, th in fact, Thanos might just straight up ignore Joker because he's like, you're not even... F Get out of my life. Get out of here. Unless he annoys him to the point where he kills him. But regardless, I don't see Joker standing a chance. But you don't get it, Z. It's the Joker He. Hey, Billy. Eh. Shut the fuck up. Oh, boy. Next one's from Ray Ray, and he says, Time for my messed up question of the week. Great start. What if one day your best friend told you he trusted you and admitted he used to be a serial killer who liked to torture homeless people for fun? Jesus fucking Christ, Ray Ray. And just so you know, oh, and just so you knew he was serious, he shows you a home video he recorded of him slaughtering a bunch of homeless people over time. He said he regretted it and is a different person now and you're the only person he told. Would you accept him and try to go on as if nothing happened? Tell him you want nothing to do with him or tell the police knowing that he will figure out it was you who tipped him off, and if he managed to break out of jail, he would come for you. I would just tell the police. I mean, if he truly regretted it and changed, he's not going to break out and try to kill me. If he does break out and try to kill me, well, he didn't goddamn change, now did he? Uh, or maybe, honestly, I, I choose option four, I kill him. Uh, just play it safe and kill him. <laughs> uh, because uh, it's a monster waiting to blow up. And I think that is something I gotta stay away from. So like, even if I did tell the police, I'd definitely be like, hey, look, this guy, I, you really should just, just off him. Don't even, don't even waste time. Uh, if you're, if you're gonna put him in prison, kill him and then put him in there. That's probably the best, that's probably the best thing you could do. And the last question from you guys is by Bulletface saying, tell us a new crazy story, not the one we already know. 
you had when you were a kid at school. Well, hopefully my mom's not watching because there was this one time my friend and I, we had ditched school. I mean, I'm not at school technically, but I feel like this falls into the category. Uh, my friend and I were at school and we ditched <laughs> and we went to my mom's house to hide there and just play games and stuff. But then someone came home early for like their lunch, I'm guessing, or something. It was my, my cousin. And uh, we just heard the garage door open. We're like, shit, what do we do? We like ran it out and we were like, I don't know where to go. And so like I, I dropped down the attic uh, ladder thing. I was like, get up the ladder. And he went up there and he hates the heat, by the way. And I hate the cold. So we, we hated that, that kind of stuff. And the attic was fucking hot. And we go up there and I'm trying to shut it from inside. I'm like, oh my God, I can't get it. So I just jump out. And he's like, but Zach, what about me? And I just shut it on him. <laughs> I run outside. I run outside in the backyard and it's fucking freezing, of course. And I just crouch down below the window and, uh, and I'm like, shit, what? Who is this? How long are they going to be here? I don't know. And then she, <laughs> she came and started doing dishes right above my window. And she let the dog out and the dogs came over to me. He's like, oh, hey, Zach, what are you doing? I'm like, get the fuck out of here, dog. God damn it. And uh, she called him in. And I don't know, it was like 30, 40 minutes or something. And she finally left. And it was like, I just crouched there, not making any noise because I was so scared of getting caught. And he was upstairs, like cross-legged, not making noise because he didn't want to get caught. And I open it. <laughs> I open the attic after she leaves. And I see him go, Ooh! Because he, he didn't know it was me and he's just covered in sweat. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, don't ditch, stay in school. But that was definitely one of the funniest like things that happened. And it was crazy for me at the time because I was like, we're going to die. We're going to get caught and they're going to they're gonna kill us. So uh, it was it was pretty high adrenaline stuff there. Hope, I don't know. Hope, I, hopefully none of you can relate to this. Hopefully you're all good and stay in school and got straight A's. But regardless, those are my answers to your questions. If any of these questions intrigued you, I'd like to hear your answers as well. I'll go through and uh, read them, and of course, pick out a couple and read them in the next video. Now for my own question to you, and this one's gonna be kind of a serious one, uh, but I had gotten it brought up earlier at my job today, and that is like, do you think that there is words that you can never say, period? Or do you think any word's okay to say as long as the context allows it? Like, okay, so recently I've noticed some people calling fag the F word. And that confused me. I'm like, well, the F, why, why aren't you just swearing, you know? And then it turned out it's because they didn't want to say fag. And I'm thinking, like, really? You know, it's it's fine. Like, I don't know if you guys have watched seen South Park episode where they talk about that. Like, when you call someone to cut you off in traffic and you call them a fag, you're not thinking, oh, this person's a homosexual. You're thinking, this douchebag just cut me off, so fag was just what came to mind. And that's just kind of, for one, like, when you, when you use it in a negative way, right, when you use it in an insulting way, I still think no matter what you're saying, it's not cool, but to censor it, I mean, it, it's, it's me, like, this is just at least how I look at it. So if someone called it me a fag, for example, I'm going to look at it the same way as I look at it if someone called me, like, stupid or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that they're saying, they're calling me a fag because they're saying I'm gay, but they're probably calling me fag because that's just supposed to be a negative thing towards me, I guess. I don't really know. Um, so it doesn't really, it bothers me equally as much as someone calling me stupid, I guess, which is just like, whatever. Um, so like, is it like any word though, to me, if you're just trying to describe it or have a conversation about the word, I think it's fine to use it. Like no matter what it is, honestly. Um, if you were to like, like, uh, oh my God, what's, I, there's a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio and he had to use the N word a lot in the movie, but that's fine because it's, is he's acting it, you know what I mean? But him saying the word just in general shouldn't really cause an uproar because it's not like he's saying it in a negative way. Well, not really. I mean, in the movie he is, but it, he, he's saying it and it's fine. You know what I mean? Him as the person. And I think that's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to get at is like, I wish people would kind of see that it's just a word. It's fine. It shouldn't be really any more offensive than anything we don't censor. You know what I mean? In my opinion, like I know like a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, especially because I'm just like some mid twenties white guy. So, you know, how much to say do I have in something like that? But 
Uh, I just, I wish we could take away power from these words and be like, no, it's just another dumb insult. Like, just ignore it, you know, kind of thing. Like, I, I wish we could kind of get to that phase where it's just like, they're just fucking, they're dumb. They're trolls. They're, they're not up with the times. You know, they don't accept things, but they'll die out eventually, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, ideally, we, I'd like it if we could just get along and not be dickheads. But, you know, humans suck, so that's not going to happen. So basically, the question is, is there any words to you that can't be used no matter the context? You just can't say the word. Uh, let me know. And that does it for today's video, guys. So thank you for watching and thank you for submitting questions. It's uh, very cool of you to keep interacting. And I know some of you have been around the channel for a very long time. And I appreciate that you are remaining that way. It's, uh, it's pretty rare to see people stick with something for that long. So thank you. And also, I know a lot of new people are coming in recently, and if you're stopping by to watch these videos, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you check out other things. By the way, I recommend Subnautica and the God of War series. Those are very good. But hopefully, all of you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. <coughs> oh. oh, finally. Oh, God. That was good.